So Huffington Post and YouGov did this fascinating poll where they asked people to say the first word that comes to their mind when they think of Hillary Clinton, and then in a separate question, when they think of Donald Trump. The responses are unbelievable. Guys, I'm not sure any other presidential election in history would have had such incredibly negative terms used to top the list to describe the different candidates. So this really is just absolutely nuts. Now, again, a thousand people were asked, and I'm going to go ahead and give you some of the results here. First, uh, let's go to Hillary Clinton. The number one thing that 106 people said out of a thousand people, she's a liar. <laughs> liar slash lying is the word that people use. What's the first word that comes from mind when you think of Hillary Clinton? Liar. Next question. <laughs> All right, look, man, in their defense, is that true? You bet your sweet butt cheeks that's true. Are you kidding me? Of course she's a liar. We have her on fucking record. There's a there's a, a video that's out, Hillary Clinton lying for 13 minutes straight. Now, by the way, some of those things that they say are lies do need more context, and it's not necessarily true, and so it is a little more nuanced. And I always, you know, tell people, beware the attacks on Hillary Clinton from the right because some of, the, some of them really are just utter bullshit and that's been the case for a while. But that being said, a lot of the attacks on Hillary Clinton are just true. <laughs> and is she a liar? Oh, absolutely. The next one, 45 people said she's dishonest. Kind of like saying the same thing. Then you get, you see Trump's effect here, 34 people said crook or crooked. 28 people say untrustworthy. 20 people say criminal. Guys, we're one, two, three, four, five. The top five words in. Not a single positive word. And then you ready for this? The sixth one is positive. And it's really not even the best of the different positive terms. 19 people said, it's experience. Experienced. That's what she is. That's like the worst of the positive words. Because what does that mean? Just, oh, you've been around a while. Oh, good for you. That doesn't say anything about what you've actually done. You can have experience and be shitty. So is that really all that positive? It's almost like a neutral thing. More. We have 19 who say smart. Okay, so that's a little more positive. 18 who say determined. And then I'll give you a few more. 16 for evil. 16 for strength. 15 for deceitful. Uh, 14 for corrupt. That one is totally true. All right, now let's pivot over to Trump. There are more, but, you know, they go, you get into the single digits and stuff, or 10 people said bitchy. <laughs> All right, so tr on Trump's side, number one term used to describe Donald Trump out of 1,000 people, 42 people said arrogant. That's true. 32 people said racist. <laughs> you can't hide it, man. Like, you... Uh, the Mexicans, they're criminals, they're rapists. I assume some are good people. No, that's not racist at all. Uh, or a bigoted position. Oh, keep out all Muslims. Ban all Muslims from entering the country because ISIS exists. <laughs> How logical. Treat all of them like they're ISIS. Uh, we have 26 people say asshole. 22 people say idiotic. 22 people say loudmouth. 22 people say stupid. 20 people say crazy. And, uh, the first, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven terms, the top seven terms used to describe Trump, all negative. And then we get 18 people out of a thousand that say, honest. Then you get 17 people, bad person, 16 people, egomaniac, 15 people, narcissist, 14 people, outspoken, and it goes on and on. So... <laughs> Man, again, I've never seen this before. We're talking about a general election with two people that people just don't like, man. Donald Trump, for those of you who don't know, she has he has favorabilities over unfavorabilities over 60%. That's unbelievable. How are you the fucking nominee? Over 60% of the country's like, dude, you're a dick. Now, on the flip side, because people often use that argument to be like, see, Trump's not going to win over 60% unfavorables. What are Hillary Clinton's unfavorables? 56%. Still well over 50%. That is also pathetic. Pathetic. So, oh God, what a terrible situation. I'll predict it now. 
I'll predict it now. The general election will have incredibly low turnout. Incredibly low turnout? Ooh, the, uh, I mean... It's even, I don't even need to say anything else, right? Like, I'm thinking of what to say, but it's self-explanatory. We know exactly why it's going to be super low turnout. 